Okay, this is our video on how to make a linearized graph. We're going to do it with just the kind. First, we're going to start with the kind that's just that is that is either this type, where we have the x increases, y remains the same, or the type like this, where it's going to be a straight line. We're going to look at how to make those, how to get the linear information for it, so it's easy for us, so we don't have to plot anything. We don't have to give a, uh, we, or we don't have to calculate anything. We can get the computer to do the calculations for us. Okay, so we need the graphical method summary open, just in case, and we need to go to our Google Drive. Fine, I'm going to make a new Google Sheet. We don't have to put any headings on here. We don't need to title this either, unless you want to. Um, we're going to put our information from our our independent variable in that world one, the x-axis the thing we did the changing we'll put that in column a let's get some numbers for that then we'll put our dependent numbers over here put all of our data in Notice we didn't put any units in with it. We just put the actual numbers in only. We're going to deal with the units later. Highlight all of our data by clicking and dragging across it. Choose Insert Chart. The type we want is this kind here. Normally I would delete this dot, and I first did, but we actually want that because eventually when it gives us our equation, we're going to be able to put it in there. So I choose that. Choose Insert. Put it over here. I'm going to drag it over so it's next to my data, only because I like that better. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to, on, if you're using a PC, you right click. If you're using your Chromebook, you double, you click with both fingers to get advanced edit. Then we're going to add some things to it. Like let's say, well, this is going to be our, um, I'll say distance. versus time for a bug. Okay. Okay. That's going to be what goes on our axis on the top. You can see I scroll down and put it up there. Under axis, we can put our title for what goes down here on the bottom. That's going to be, in this case, uh, time seconds. Then I want to change it to left vertical. That's going to be distance centimeters okay. okay and that should work for us let's see I just click on anything to make it appear you can see I put the axis label on the side and on the bottom okay. now the last thing we want to do is something that the computer will do for us which is actually calculate our slope and our y-intercept so you scroll down to where it says trend line which is linear you can see you put our line in there but the label will give us the equation you can see it says y equals 5x plus 16. So the slope of that line is 5, and the y-intercept is 16. You click Update, and there's your graph. Now you can take this the way that you learned how to replace the y and the x variables with the variable for distance and time. Get the correct units for 5. Remember, that'll be the slope of it, so it'll be whatever the distance is over the time, so centimeters per second. And the y-intercept will be whatever units there are on the y-axis, so that's centimeters. So if I type it out, my mathematical model will look like this. Distance equals 5 centimeters per second. That's my slope values, my rise over run, my centimeters over second. There's t for whatever time, plus 16 centimeters and that's my mathematical model that's how i can use google sheets in order to do that thanks for watching and the next video i'll show will be a video on how to do it if it's not a perfectly straight line